Hi, welcome to my channel. It's me, Rita, and today I will show you my mashed potatoes recipe inspired by the legendary Michelin star chef Joël Rebochon. This mashed potatoes recipe I'm ready to profess is the most delicious and creamiest side dish in the world. A perfect mashed potatoes which is neither sticky nor gummy or gluey, not overly liquid but really beautifully creamy and supremely velvety. So let's get started, here we go! For our mashed potatoes recipe, we need 125 grams of cold butter, 300 milliliters of milk, 1 kilogram of potatoes, sea salt and a nutmeg. What we also need is this charming kitchen helper foot mill or a potato ricer. First of all, for a really fluffy mashed potatoes recipe, you need the right choice of potatoes. They should be predominantly the same size and preferably mealy potatoes. You can opt for you can gold or russet potatoes, which are the best potatoes for mashing and have a rich buttery flavor and creamy mouthfeel. We are going to peel the potatoes now. Optionally, you can keep the potato peel on. And to prevent them from turning brown, I put them right into a pot of cold water. It's very important that the potatoes are not cut into small pieces, otherwise they lose a lot of flavor and become too watery. As potatoes basically tolerate a lot of salt, there is a small rule of thumb. On one liter of water comes about 10 grams of salt and the potatoes should be covered with 3 centimeters of water. Here I've got a large pot filled with two and a half liters of cold water. So according to that, we need 25 gram of salt and now I measure it. So as you can see, all the potatoes are the same size. Now we put the pot on the stove and add the salt. Cover with a lid, which makes it go even faster, and bring to a boil. Then reduce the heat and simmer until potatoes are very tender but not crumbly, 25 to 30 minutes. After 25 minutes the potatoes are now done and we can now drain the water. While we are letting the potatoes steam off, bring the milk to a boil. Now the milk is hot enough, I put the pot aside for a while, put also the lid on it so that it also stays nice and hot. It's time to mash. This is when our food milk comes into play. We will put the hot potatoes straight in here. We now press the still warm potatoes through a food mill on the finest setting. Instead of a foot mill, you can of course use a traditional potato masher. But if you want a particularly creamy mashed potatoes, then this foot mill does a great job. However, please, under no circumstances should you use a hand blender for mashing. Blending an all potato mash with a hand blender runs the risk of releasing too much stark, creating a glue and sticky mess. Now that I've mashed the potatoes, I'm going to add the cold butter. So, and with a wooden spoon, I now stir the well-chilled cubes of butter into the potatoes, bit by bit, until the butter is completely incorporated. I return the pot to the warm stove and now gradually pour in the hot milk little by little. And this is exactly the secret, namely the really cold butter in combination with hot milk. Do not pour the milk in all at once, but a little at a time. Again, incorporate with a wooden spoon until we get the desired consistency, until the texture is smooth and meltingly soft. One thing that can't be missing in a mashed potato recipe, of course, is a bit of nutmeg. Let's grate it right on top. Again, a little milk and keep stirring. A 
add more sea salt and pour in the rest of the milk. If you want to get a really chefy and create a side dish that's closer to French pomme purée, you can now pass the mashed potatoes again through a very fine mesh sieve and then it is really velvety. I use a pastry card here and spatula the mashed potatoes onto my fine sieve and strain it. It's not quick and a bit of a workout, but you will end up with the silkiest mashed potatoes you have ever made. This looks super creamy. And now we can finally serve. For all mashed potatoes lovers, now shape it nicely with an angled palette. So now a beautiful quote by star chef Joël Rubouchon. I owe everything to these mashed potatoes, he once famously said during a demonstration of how to make luscious creamy dish. Maybe it's a little bit of nostalgia like Bruce Madeleine's. Everyone has in his memory the mashed potatoes recipe of his mother or grandmother. I hope you enjoyed my video. If so, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you. Yours Rita. Thank you.